Welcome everybody to another episode of We Inspired. I'm back in the kitchen. Uh, this evening I thought I'd try something different. During sort of Eid, we've had a lot of meat, um, so we thought we'll go with something that suits everybody. This is a vegetarian sort of dish. It's a basic, simple Bangladeshi recipe. It's called the alu borta. This is how we're going to do it. And I think to myself, what a wonderful gentlemen so we've got the um, ingredients here it's a basic dish like I said we've got uh, 200 grams of potatoes here these are baby potatoes you can use any type of potatoes you can use baking potatoes uh, make sure you don't you can boil them but we prefer not to to get the full flavor you need to either grill them or put them in the oven like as if you're having a jack of potato and I, I promise you you'll have the best flavors in these you've got we've got some red onion uh, half a t uh, teaspoon of salt, some coriander, and some dry red chilies. Um, these chilies you can pick up from most stores, Asian stores. You can pick them up from Asda, Sainsbury's if you go into the world food section. Once you get these, make sure you put a couple on a pan and roast them, and then you'll get the full flavor. And finally, this alu borta isn't an alu borta without mustard oil, so we're gonna crack on. So, first of all, I'm gonna um, peel the onion, uh, onions, peel the potato. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here I have it. This is, I'm not sure if I told you before, 200 grams of potato. Just gonna mash this up. I've taken the skin off. Do you know what, I'm gonna mash it up with my hands. It's easier. I have washed my hands, by the way. Now I'm going to add the onions. This is half an onion. So now I'm going to add these bad boy chilies. You don't want to add too many because otherwise it will be flaming hot. I'm just going to add two because it's just a small amount of potatoes. I'm going to break this up in the pestle and mortar. Look at this. It's only a tiny amount. Actually, I'm going to add one more because it's two small ones. There you go, that's done. tried this in many restaurants and I'm telling you it's not come out so great when I've gone there. So I've added the chilies. Usually I would mix this with my hand. As soon as I've had the chilies that's it. If you mix this with your hand your fingers are going to start burning. I've run out of gloves otherwise it will come out much nicer because I'll be squeezing the life out of the potatoes. By the way this is wild coriander not like your normal coriander. Oh, smells absolutely gorgeous. That's just a handful of coriander. Usually when you go to Bangladeshi restaurants in Bangladesh, even in the UK, um, in Bangladesh you'd get this for free, you'd get a whole plate full. However, in the UK you'd probably end up paying maybe about five, five pounds, six pounds for a portion like this. And I'm telling you, if you make it at home, this is going to be fantastic. Now I'm going to add, this is just half a um, teaspoon of salt. So you don't want to um, turn it out like mashed potato. You want to still have bits in it. Oh, that smells lovely. Finally, we're going to add this. The mustard oil. You don't want to add too much because it will be overwhelming. Just like maybe, um, I'd say about a teaspoon. Here you go.
Ta-da! Here we are. Look at this. Alu borata at its best. Oh, all the flavors of Bangladesh. And I promise you guys, or ladies and gentlemen, that this is going to taste absolutely fantastic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We have the final, like Latif says, piece de resistance. <laughs> this has taken me about 10 minutes to make. So I promise you, 10 minutes and you're going to have a lovely vegetarian alu borta, Bangladeshi style. So basically, look at that. Get a bit of rice, a bit of alu borta. Bismillah. Mmm. That creamy potato, you can feel the heat from the chili. Uh, it's not too spicy. I think it's good for everybody. If you like it really spicy, then all you need to do is add some more of these little bad boys. But this is fantastic. Guys, if you've liked this vlog, like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram for some more fantastic videos. See you soon.